you know, when you say that you're going to clean your room and you don't, or you're going to go on a walk and you don't, or you're going to do X, Y, Z thing and you don't, it's just a choice that you've made. The same choice applies to your mental, emotional, spiritual, and psychological health and well-being. Taking care of yourself, attuning, and working on your mindset, whether or not you are doing that day-to-day, moment-to-moment, is another choice. And a lot of us will tell these stories of powerlessness. Oh, there are so many things that are going on in my external environment. You don't understand. I can't. No, it's not true that we can't do things. It's true that we're prioritizing other things. So the question to ask yourself is, are my priorities supporting me in having an emotionally fulfilled life? Are my habits supporting me? We talk more about that in today's video. So when your parents neglected you emotionally and only gave you just enough attention to survive, you got enough attention that if you were in serious danger, somebody would have come. But if you needed to have fun, if you needed to have a good feeling life for a majority of it, you didn't get that experience. You didn't get that emotional fulfillment and support that you needed. So you didn't have someone teaching you and supporting you and building these habits that you need of taking care of yourself. If you're a kid and your mom wakes you up every morning and goes, okay, we're going to brush our teeth. If you brush your teeth every single morning from the ages of zero to 10, when you're 11 years old, you're already going to have that momentum built up of let's brush our teeth. So it's the same exact thing when it comes to your mental health and shaming you into cleaning your room, guilting you into cleaning your room incentivizing you to take care of things because of fear of how you're going to be treated if you don't that's not the same thing as supporting you in building healthy habits that create the lifestyle of your desire 